How do we bring 3D models into the canvas? Let me show you. The first step will be to access the page navigator. If you already have it enabled, that's great. But if you do not, you can go to the view tab and enable the page navigator by checking this box. This will bring the page navigator pane on the canvas. I can then drag the pane around, snap it into one of these preset pane locations, or I can just leave it separate. I can also edit its size by dragging the edges in any direction. I prefer the pane on the left side of my canvas, so I will snap it here and make it a bit smaller. On the page navigator, I have these page options. Create a new page, duplicate a page, delete a page, and show page instructions. I will click on the new page icon to add a new page on my document. To import a 3D model, I can go to the home screen under the place and draw tools and click here, or go to the insert tab under items and click here. The 3D model ribbon will bring the insert 3D model window. Here I can scan my computer files for the 3D models I want to bring into the canvas and I can also see all the type of files that are supported by Envision. We continue to add to this list very often, so if your company uses a specific file type that we do not have, we will be more than happy to assist you. For this first video, I will use a 3D model over steering clutch that was built using SOLIDWORKS, and it is saved as a step file under my downloads folder. To bring it to the canvas, I can double click on the model or single click and press enter. If I click on the place 3D model ribbon again, I can also check the show import options to edit the import options. Here I can choose between a few tessellation qualities. Tessellation refers to the amount of geometries that the model should come with. A higher tessellation refers in slower application performance, where low tessellation results in faster processing and application performance. In these two checkboxes, one stands for boundary representation or BREP geometry, which allows me to see the models in a bounded set of faces if it exists with the 3D model. The other to make the 3D model fit to the page. If I deselect the fit to page option, I can also set a custom size for the view bounds of my model, which are represented by these blue lines. Note that a few files, such as SOLIDWORKS assemblies, may bring warning messages if some reference files are not available, so make sure to have all the parts of your assembly in the same folder as the assembly to avoid this message. Otherwise, if you aren't using those file types, there shouldn't be any problems with importing. Models with configurations can also be imported with Envision. These are files that consist of multiple model scenarios with different compartments or shapes. Whenever you use a file that contains configurations, select the Show Import options when importing the model, and a Select Configurations dialog box will be displayed where the preferred configuration can be selected. Once the model has been imported onto the canvas, it will be auto-selected, which will bring the 3D model contextual tab up here. Inside, I will see a few extra ribbons that allow me to further edit my document. In the next video, I will talk about the Edit 3D Model ribbon and how to navigate 3D models.